Hi everybody. Today is Friday and it's about five o'clock. I just got home. Um uh, I just wanted to give an update on some things. Uh, I saw an email right before I left work and February, March and April sales are gonna be the same as January and December, so we're still gonna be very busy. I've been trying to decide whether I needed to get my doctor to put me on 40 hours or not. So I'm still praying and waiting for the answer because I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't want to lose my job, but this is, this has been a hard two months, guys, really hard. Um, so what's going on right now is I have my blood work back for my E, where my ENT got me tested for allergies and it said zero that I was allergic to nothing. It can't be right. I've always been allergic to everything. And I can still tell it when I eat certain foods, when I'm around other dogs other than mine and stuff. And uh, I've got to call him back, go see him, and take in the results. Now, I know when I had the, the allergy test done 20 years ago, and they did it on your back, you couldn't uh, take Claritin, singular, anything like that for like four or five days before it messed the test up. Well, I am on Claritin, Singular, all those things, and but they did not tell me to stop them before I went and had this blood work. It was just blood drug. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I haven't researched it. But uh, my throat doesn't stay swelled all the time. I noticed a couple of weeks ago that now it's not staying swelled on the inside anymore. Another update, let's see if we can see this. See, all this is still there. So I try not to think about it because my anxiety is so big anyway. But remember I went to two ERs and showed it also to my rheumatologist, also showed it to my ENT doctor. So that's that. So I got to make an appointment, go back to my ENT doctor and take uh, uh, those blood work. I've got to make an appointment, get my eyes checked. I am about eight months past due with being on the Plaquenil and things are starting to get blurry. So that's all, I got to put that on my to-do list. I got to get my eyes checked. Um, my work is way over time. I'm, my, ENT. I go back to my rheumatologist at the end of this month. I never did start taking the urine yet because I've had a, so much other stuff. Uh, this still swells up. I don't know what it is. Okay, now the other thing. Uh, this shoulder has been hurting for like a year. Okay, um, and I would wake up in the morning or middle of the night and this arm is numb and I actually have to sling it like this till it wakes up. Well now it's gotten so bad that this arm will go numb even if I'm just using this thumb, it'll start going numb. But the most painful thing is even though this arm goes numb, my hand goes numb, the pain in my shoulder right here is deep in the bone. It's horrible. And last week, I started waking up in the middle of the night with my finger right with my hand right there. It feels like somebody's stabbing it and got a knife in it. And I will be waking up crying. It hurts so bad. I, I go in the bathroom, turn the faucet on hot water, and just put my hand under it until the pain eases. It is horrible. And I know all of it is tied in together. So. I'm gonna, we've got a sports med down here, which means they deal mostly with knees, elbows, shoulders. So I'm gonna try to get in to see them, let them um, do x-rays on my shoulder and my hand and stuff. I know it's all connected. The pain level is, it is a nine, it's horrible. I wake up now every day, my pain level is probably a four. That's how I start my day. And those of you with lupus and things you know, it 
gets better or worse. I mean, it's by the hour. I may be dragging and don't know how I'm going to get through the day. And in a couple hours, I feel better. Not fixed, but better. Or it may get worse. And It's always full of surprises. I mean, you don't know. And it does play really hard on you. The other thing I want to talk about was my Plaquenil. Okay, I've made several videos of, on here about how the Plaquenil affects me and how I've tried to get up to the 400 milligrams and I always have to taper back down. I have been up to the 400 milligrams probably about six months now. Now it has helped my lupus, it really does. The only thing is it increases my anxiety level my mind racing and I have only had one good night of sleep in probably three months. I'm exhausted. I will sleep 30 minutes or an hour wake up. 30 minutes and wake up. I am so tired. The dreams go on forever and ever. They're so vivid I remember them. My nerves are shot. Uh, when I went to see my doctor, I'm seeing my doctor now every month for my depression and anxiety because she's trying to uh, get my anxiety medicine to help. She increased my Lexapro from 20 milligrams to 30. I take one and a half. That helped a little bit to slow my mind down and bring the anxiety down some, but not enough. It's to the point that I actually had to make a decision last week, which if, if, if I have to stay on the Plaquenil at 400, can I deal with the anxiety level that the Plaquenil is causing from lack of sleep, the dreams, and the shakes? Or do I drop down off the Plaquenil and have to deal with the lupus side effects of being more tired and hurting worse? Well, the answer was I'm dropping down off the Plaquenil. I started day before yesterday only taking 200 milligrams. You know, if you have to decide against the side effects, you have to decide for your, what you can deal with and I can't do without sleep. I mean, because you're just starting a vicious cycle. If I'm taking the Plaquenil to help, help the lupus, but it's keeping me from sleeping and we need our sleep and rest, and then I'm working 10 hours, I'm getting nowhere. So I have started dropping down. Of course, it'll take a little while before I'll be able to notice. My pain level will shoot back up. My arthritis will get worse. I'll be tired but I won't have the anxiety level. So that is what I'm choosing. So I can get to go see him. And I know he's just going to try to get me to take the immurin that I haven't yet. I'm trying. I'm sorry I'm trying to fit so much into this one. But I was thinking about a way home. And I said I really need to make a video about lupus. How it's affecting me. My pain level. So that's where I'm at right now. Um. I'm trying really hard to just deal with one symptom, one problem at a time. Right now, my ears, nose, and throat doctor to get that took care of. Then my shoulder, and of course my rheumatologist. So I'm just gonna keep praying about my workload and schedule and whatever, I'll know the answer. When, when, when it, when, I'm sorry y'all, I'm so tired. But I will know. I mean, I know I can't keep on. I'm just exhausted, you know. Oh, and I have this weekend off. Yeah. I'm, I wanted to put a video together because last weekend, me and my husband went to Nashville for our anniversary. And I have took some stuff and wanted to make a video to put on here, but I haven't had time. But I do have it. But this weekend, we were supposed to work. And at the last minute... Um, the plant manager said everybody was off because everybody was tired. So I do have this weekend off. Well, with that being said, though, I'm thinking I got Saturday and Sunday. My clothes are piled up. My, car, my house is nasty. My truck hadn't been clean in over two months. 
there's some shopping in town I need to do. You know what, y'all? I'm exhausted. Two days is not long enough. <laughs> but another thing, uh, I got another text from Tremia. She did get uh, moved to a private hospital, but she said she was still having the same problem. So I'm taking it by that, that she's still having the same nursing problems as far as when her stomach acts up and she needs her medicine right then because it's not just a matter of the pain is so severe she needs it. Like she said, it's cutting the blood flow off and it could be very dangerous. So evidently she's still having the same problem at a different hospital. So everybody keep praying for her. This woman is a real warrior, and I have been very depressed and down with my situation, and I am sure that there is so much that we do not see that she is going through, that she is not showing us. So just everybody keep her in prayer, send her a text message. If you have her home address, you know, send her a card, because I'm sure Dwayne will take her, her cards, and at least she'll have something. But I'm going to let you go, and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye.